Mom, do you think I have big lips? <laughs> yes, honey. Are you sure, though? Because I could just rock the fish face all day, you know? <laughs> Sweetheart, stop it. You look ridiculous. You don't need to do that. You'll be fine. Well, thanks, but wish me luck for the beauty inspection. You won't need luck, honey. I'm sure you'll pass. Help me. I have super thin lips. Shoot. <sighs> what am I going to do? You remember the Kylie Jenner lip challenge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so just go into the science lab, get like a little container and... Girl, do not do that. That looks really weird. Okay, you know what I mean. Beauty inspection in five minutes. Hurry. <sighs> I'm going. Next. All right, stand still while the beauty scanner scans your face. Pass. All right, you're good to go. Next. Hey, you passed the beauty inspection. Yeah, your idea worked. We got a runner. Please, I swear my lips are not that... Bring her to the van. Where do you think they take them? I don't know, but I don't think I want to know either. Same. Bangs? Yes, I'm safe. But I'm not. You helped me, so now I'm going to help you. Next in line for the beauty check. Pass. You're clear. Get out of here. Hi, oh, what happened? The beauty standard happened. Apparently, bangs are in style now. Who cut them for you? <laughs> oh gosh, this has definitely backfired. What? Nothing, it's just you don't really look as good as you used no, no, no. to. Mom, don't worry. These are actually fake. They're, uh, they're clip-on, see? Oh, thank goodness. It was actually my friend's idea. She has the same color hair as me, and she carries these clip-on bangs in her backpack, and... The beauty standard changed. Oh, well, that was perfect timing. Mm -mm. Wait a minute, I just realized if the beauty standard is no bangs, then my best friend is in danger. Beauty check in ten minutes. I have to get to class. Time for the beauty check. Well, actually, I was looking for my best friend Tara. She has hair like me and- There are other people in line. Don't move while we scan you. Passed. Next. Help me take this one to the van. Uh, yes, sir. That's my friend. No, please, you can't take her. Miss, let us do our job. <laughs> Worry about yourself. The beauty standard is changing again. I brought you food, hun. No, mom. I'm not hungry. How am I supposed to eat knowing that my best friend is locked away somewhere? Sweetie, you gotta eat or you're gonna get too thin. I don't care. And why won't this stupid thing just load? The system is down right now, but it'll load. Help. Someone help us. Did you hear that? It sounded like it was coming from the vents. Mom, please tell me you heard that. That was Tara's voice, right? Oh, no, sweetie. I didn't hear a thing. You must be imagining things. No, but I heard... Honey, you witnessed something very traumatic with your friend, and I think you might be experiencing some PTSD <sighs> right now. Sweetie? No, I don't care what it is. I'm not looking. I'm not doing it. This one is so easy to do. I'll help you. See, that wasn't so bad. No, let me get out the beauty scanner so you can show that you passed the inspection. Whoa, wait a minute. How do you have one of those? Only people that work for the system have one of those. Well, lucky me found this one on the ground. Now stay still. Good girl. Passed. Honey, I'll be right back. Please, can anyone hear me? I hear her again. It's not real. It's not real. Can anyone hear me? I hear her again. It's not real. It's not real. Mom forgot her laptop in here. She got a text from someone called Unknown. Hey boss, we're gonna need you to make the beauty standards a lot harder. Not enough people have been eliminated. Wait, he wouldn't be calling her boss unless she's in charge of the whole system. So if my mom is in charge of the beauty standards, then... Someone help us, please! That voice is real. Okay, it's gonna be okay. I just have to follow where the voice is coming from and save my friend. The beauty standard is about to change. I better hurry. Hello? <gasps> Tara? You... you found me. Oh my gosh, you're okay. Your mom, she, she's in charge of the system. I know, I know. Honey, it's dinner time. I have to go. No, don't leave me in the cell. I'll be back, alright? I'm gonna save you. I'm so glad you're eating. Was it good? It was really good. Great, because I put something special in there to help you relax. Wait, what do you mean? I know you know my secret, and I can't have you freeing your friend. You're just going to feel a little tired. Oh, but don't worry. I'll make sure you pass the beauty standard. Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's going to say vampire since you and dad are both vampires. Well, actually, you're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. 
Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today, we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together, then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine neither. I'm Draculogan. I'm Andrina. Okay, true or false, a mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I gonna grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair's getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrina. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone, and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because we want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know? I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are going to stay extinct anymore. I'd sit a millionaire's dog or tutor a billionaire's child. I'm pretty sure the billionaires are going to pay more. We will pay you 500 Per day? <laughs> don't be silly, dear. Per hour. Well, that sounds terrific. Where is my son? One moment, I'll go get him. I will be right here. You're going to wish you didn't accept that job. What, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. Hello, I'm Ronald. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ronald. I'm Bree. You are really tall for 12. Yeah, can we start the tutoring now? We can start right now. Where's a good room to start? This way. Follow me. Hey, Ronald. How are you doing on that worksheet I gave you? I'm done. Here. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> is something wrong? It's just that your mom said you were really bad at math, but these all look correct. Where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mommy will be gone for a while. Oh, okay, well I kind of wish they would have mentioned that. I guess we'll just try something a little more challenging for you next time. Would you like a drink? Actually, yeah, that would be great, thanks. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> I'm back. <sighs> Sorry, you scared me. Um, do you know why there's noises coming from that hallway down there? Uh, that's my dog, I'm sorry. He's really loud. Oh, your dog. Okay. <laughs> Here's your drink. I'm actually good. I have to go catch my Uber, but I'll see you tomorrow. Text from the mom. Forgot to mention that Ronald is highly allergic to... dogs. Can we start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs. So how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. 
I'll take special meds just to be around the dog, please. She's the only friend I got. Look, I get it, but Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No, don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell Mommy and Daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're going to need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you... Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry. I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance and I'm not really sure how long things are going to... You know what? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. <sighs> but I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay. Cool. BRB. Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. <gasps> what did I just see? That didn't look like a dog. That looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait! Have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tuta, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I... I have to go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're going to have to join them. Ugh, my head. She woke up. Shh, you're going to scare her. What the hell? Where am I? We're all locked in a basement. Wait a minute, are you Ronald's other tutors? Yeah. yeah. How long have you guys been down here? We've been down here for like a month. You have? Good, you're awake. So, how are you? Not great, you know, because you hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan. I'm sorry, I just wanted some friends. Ronald, this isn't the way though. You have to let us go. Darling, I'm home. Not a word. Stay quiet. Ronald! Coming, mummy. Ronald, there you Don't are. Don't bother calling for help. She can't hear us. How does a 12-year-old get his hands on something like that? Well, they are billionaires. They probably buy him whatever he wants. Well, there has to be some way out of here. I wish, girl, we tried. Oh my gosh, he left my phone. Can either of you reach it? No, both of our hands are tied. Okay, well, I'm just going to kick the table over. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, who are you calling? I'm using my foot to text my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? No, girl, call the cops. <sighs> no, 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 girls, trust me, this is the right move. He can track my phone and have a team here in just a few minutes. Huh? huh? Is your boyfriend a spy or something? Uh-oh. What? What? My phone died. No. Girls, I'm sorry to do this, but I'll have to get rid of two of you. What? No, please. Ronald, no. Jill, I'm not going to get rid of... Freeze, kid. What the... Got your text, babe. I had no idea my son was capable of doing such terrible things. Girls, please take this. These checks are for a million. I know. Are you sure? Yes. It's the least I can do. Thank you for saving us, sir. Absolutely. Glad you guys are safe. Girl, he's a real keeper. Yeah, he is. I was meant to be your boyfriend, not him. Can someone please get Ronald McDonald out of here? How dare 